welcome to Next Day 336. Thank you, Charles Elliot Clark Barnes, Stephanie Burnett, and we're on day number 229 of my book, A Daily Devotional, which I'm presenting via YouTube. Psalm, Psalmos, Salmon. Nueve, nine, nine. And scripture references for today. Psalm 9, Psalm, Psalm 105, 22, Romans 8, 10, 11, and 21. So Romans chapter 8, verse 10, 11, and 21. Psalm 105, verse 22, which we should know by heart by now. And Psalm 9, the whole psalm. Just to praise song, A Lovely Rose by the Magnolia Melody. YouTube upload of March 21st, 2008. And for the entry, how long? In meditating on this song, we see the author is in agreement with Christ Almighty to worship the Lord wholeheartedly. Now, when the author states marvelous works, maravillas, wonder excellent, we have to wonder whether or not he qualifies the works of God Almighty Pan, because indeed. Is not everything he does a marvelous and wonderful thing, inasmuch as he, the actor, is marvelous and a great wonder? Also, to the author's credit, he has learned to maintain a state of rejoicing <clears throat> in the Lord for who he is, thy name, tu nombre, thine nomin. We see in the next two verses that the author is celebrating victory by the hand of God Almighty over some enemies' unjust treatment. The next two verses let us know that the unjust heathen, unjust slash heathen, now realizes the magnitude of his or their error in that destruction by the righteous God Almighty is so complete that even the memory of the heathen has been caused to cease ongoingly. It gives us the impression that even for generations should this heathen line try to do anything else, if perchance any have somehow escaped slash survived this utter decimation, that it will also die, never bring forth, never birth forth. In the next four verses, seven through ten, <clears throat> we see the author extol the righteousness of our God, reiterating to the heathen that God's justice considers all the world's doings comforts the oppressed, and delivers them and holds steady all who call upon his great name. The remaining verses encourage all who seek righteousness to praise the Lord, to note how God the Lord judges matters, to understand him, and reminds all, heathen and righteous, including himself, alike of the exacting and right judgment of our God. And then re implores of God Almighty to administer his justice in earnest unto all nations. And the introductory prayer. Dear Father God Almighty, Lord of Senators and our Supreme Governor, we thank you for your dear and only begotten Son and his completed work of his shed blood on the cross at Calvary, even Christ Jesus of Nazareth. Today, Father, we lift up Governor Matt Bevan, or the current leadership. May his, uh, his aims please you, Lord God, and may he be blessed to do your will for our nation. We pray for the concerns of Kentucky, including international relations, toxic wastelands, and unique ways of economic advancement, perhaps through regional, national, and international sports. And Lord, please bless Uzbekistan through metals, machinery, and automobiles. And dear Father, please bless those of Lexington with the cache of gold, for sole proprietorship, sufficient for all domestic needs from now and forever, and permit them a heart of flesh to help your chosen cause globally, perhaps fighting for the well-being of orphans. We also pray, dear Light of Life, for the Singaporeans. May they experience biblical, and I reference KJV, King James Ocean, NKJV, New King James ESV English Standard Version for the Message Version of the Holy Bible. 
understanding in the Holy Ghost. In Christ Jesus' holy and precious name, we do pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment below. This is SJ336, St. John 336 on 70. Do not have a great one.